Welcome to Frederick at its best. Uh, today we have a proclamation uh, to honor our law enforcement officers. Uh, in the month of May, we have National Law Enforcement Officers Week. And so we really like to um, acknowledge all of our law enforcement partners here in Frederick County, the Frederick County Sheriff's Office, the Frederick City Police, and the Brunswick and Thurmont Police Departments. Um, the Frederick County Sheriff's Office is the primary law enforcement agency in Frederick County, serving a population of over 240,000 people and covering s almost 663 square miles of Frederick County. It's a big territory, isn't it? Uh, initially accredited in 1998, and I certainly remember when that happened, the Sheriff's Office voluntarily maintains compliance with the standards established by the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies called CALEA. The combined 2014 figures for the Frederick County Sheriff's Office and the Maryland State Police indicate an overall 6% decrease in Frederick County crime as compared to the previous year, which really speaks to the great work of all of our partners in law enforcement. Frederick County experienced a crime rate of 14.3 Part 1 crimes per thousand in population, which is less than one half of the most recent national average of 30.99 per thousand people. So we know that our uh, law enforcement agencies do a, a wonderful job, and we know that they also provide mutual aid around the state, most recently uh, by sending um, uh, staff into the city of Baltimore when they had their uh, uh, riots and recent incidents, and we really appreciate the fact that um, you know we're all in it together here in Maryland, and that we help each other. And certainly, I'm sure other agencies would uh, do the same for us. So I do want to uh, read a proclamation, and then I will give Sheriff Jenkins an opportunity to um, speak. Whereas the Congress of the United States of America has designated a week in May to be dedicated as National Police Week, and law enforcement officers are our guardian of life and property, defenders of the individual rights to be free, warriors in the, crime, in the war against crime, and are dedicated to the preservation of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And whereas the law enforcement agencies of Frederick County include the Frederick County Sheriff's Office, the Frederick Police Department, the Thurmont Police Department, the Brunswick Police Department, the Maryland State Police at Barracks B, and the Department of Defense Police at Fort Detrick. And these agencies desire to honor the valor, service, and dedication of their own officers. And whereas since 1791, there have been 22,091 known line of duty deaths of law enforcement officers in American history. They made the supreme sacrifice in the preservation of law and order. And hundreds of officers are seriously assaulted every week in the performance of their duties. In recognizing these dedicated men and women, Frederick County joins with other jurisdictions across the country to honor the law enforcement officers who protect our communities. Now, therefore, as the County Executive of Frederick County, Maryland, I hereby proclaim this week, May 17th through 23rd, as Law Enforcement Officers Week in Frederick County and do commend this observance to all of our citizens. I, if you see a um, law enforcement officer, please uh, thank them for all they do to keep our community safe. We're very fortunate in Frederick County to have a safe community, and I think it's something that we take for granted. And we take it for granted because of the hard work of all of these uh, men and women. It doesn't happen by magic. It happens through planning, execution, good work, dedication, and commitment. And we thank you for all that you do. So with that, I'd like to turn the microphone over to our sheriff, uh, Ch Chuck Jenkins, to talk about this week. Thank you, Madam Executive. I appreciate the opportunity this morning. And on behalf of the men and women of all law enforcement in Frederick County, I appreciate the recognition. And I will tell you that the men and women of this county in law enforcement are absolutely dedicated to the role they play in serving the community. I believe, and I've said this for years, that it's, it's the best place to police. It, it's, a, it's an admirable, a mutual respect between the citizens and law enforcement and vice versa. We have that same respect for the people we serve. These folks are doing a job uh, in a society that's uh, becoming increasingly, increasingly difficult to do that job. A lot of things happening that aren't so favorable to law enforcement, but I can tell you we're there to do a job. Our role is to serve the public, to maintain civil order, to enforce the law, and maintain peace. That's what we do. We're not there to be adversarial, whether it's a traffic stop, whether it's a domestic or, or a more serious incident. We're there to serve the public. So I just want to, to again, uh, stress how important it is for the public to realize that these men and women are dedicated, all the local agencies. We work so well together. 
Uh, we're in a situation where we've all come up. We spent a lot of years in this game here in Frederick County. We've all worked together, the chiefs of the local agencies, the city police. We back each other up. We work well together on the street. And in the end, that's what serves the citizens best. So thank you. And uh, I'll let uh, the men and women here introduce themselves and what their roles are. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Scott Hopkins. I'm the law enforcement VR chief. Captain Ron Hibbard, patrol operations commander with the sheriff's office. Sergeant James Mox with the Brunswick, the police department. Lieutenant Jason Null with the Frederick County Sheriff's Office. I'll work within the patrol operations. Thank you. Lieutenant Tom Weinbrenner, Support Services Commander for the Frederick County Sheriff's Office. Captain Troy Barrick, Special Operations Commander, Sheriff's Office. Sergeant John Benner, I supervise Patrol Team 4 for the Sheriff's Office. Officer Gerald Bowen, Thurmont Police Department, Patrol. Lieutenant Kevin Grunwell with the Sheriff's Office, Special Assignment Commander. Let me just say one more thing. I will reiterate what uh, Executive Gardner said. Just a couple of weeks ago, we deployed three platoons to Baltimore to help with the civil unrest situation down there. And I could not have been more proud of the men and women that we deployed. We, they represented Frederick County very well. They served a very important role for Baltimore City, Baltimore County, at the request of the governor. And again, I think the citizens uh, couldn't be more proud of what they did down there. Thank you. We appreciate that. And, um, you know, we, we tend to recognize these extraordinary circumstances where people go out of the way to do something unusual, but it is the day-to-day -day work that keeps us safe. It's the guys on patrol and the girls on patrol uh, every day. Uh, it's really a tough job to be out on patrol, and I, I'm not sure that the average person realizes how dangerous that job is when you stop somebody and you don't know necessarily what that reaction is going to be next. So I, I want to thank you on behalf of the citizens of Frederick County and uh, we appreciate you being here today. And for, so for all of you out there in our viewing audience, thank uh, someone you know in law enforcement for keeping our community safe. Thank you for joining us.